James Jordan has hit back at anti-vaxxers after he received backlash for his appearance on Good Morning Britain this morning. James Jordan, 44, has responded to criticism from anti-vaxxers after his appearance on Good Morning Britain generated backlash today. The former Strictly Come Dancing professional told viewers that Strictly pros who have reportedly refused the jab do not deserve a place on the show. The former Strictly professional tweeted earlier today, just a quick one to all the anti-vaxxers out in force tonight. Thank your lucky stars for the 44 million people in this country that did get vaccinated, so you are now able to go back to work and get back to some kind of normal. We are all in this together. Sid underscore Ken commented, waiting on the anti-vaxxers to comment. James, not afraid of confrontation, replied exactly what was going through his head. He said, I'm lucky I don't have many idiots following me. Random spouting off after giving them a few home truths this morning on at GMV, no jab no job. Some of James' 280,000 followers hastily replied. Corsa 1969 commented, I thought you were absolutely right, we're all entitled to our own opinions and this is mine. After many months self-isolating I got COVID and have been extremely ill. I would have died if I hadn't been jabbed. Slinehan15 said, With so many anti-vax celebs coming out of the woodwork recently, your comments are refreshing and great to hear. Thank you James. James appeared on Good Morning Britain today, telling Susanna Reid and Richard Madeley what he thought about strictly professionals refusing to get the COVID vaccine, according to reports. He said, I normally would protect the professional dancers until the cows come home, but on this occasion, I can't. Unfortunately. So yeah, I definitely believe they don't deserve their right on the show, and the celebrities have the right to refuse to dance with them. James added, you've got some more mature people that are more at risk than young professional dancers, I just think it's a really selfish thing to do. A BBC spokesperson, responding to the reports said, we do not comment on speculation of somebody's COVID vaccination status.